In this video, we provide the solution to question number 11 for the practice final exam for Math 1210, in which case we're told that if the, a function f, its first derivative, its second derivative are all continuous on their domains, and if f of 2 equals 0, f prime of 2 equals negative 2, and f double prime of 2 equals 3, what can we say about the function happening at x equals 2? So let's see what information we have. Since the function at 2 is equal to 0, this tells us that x equals 2 is an x-intercept of the graph. Uh, that might be useful. Maybe that's what they're asking about. Um, if we look at f prime at 2, since it's negative 2, the derivative tells you the monotonicity of the function. So when the derivative is positive, the function's increasing. When the derivative is negative, that means the function's decreasing. And so we can tell that the function is decreasing at the value f equals 2. Excuse me, x equals 2. And then finally, the second derivative measures the concavity of the function. So if the second derivative at 2 is equal to 3, that tells us that the function must be concave upward at x equals 2. A positive second derivative would be concave up. A negative second derivative would be concave down. So let's see if we find a result that says anything about that. Uh, so we're actually going to select choice E right here because the function's decreasing and concave up at 2. Um, these other statements, we know that the function's not increasing, so it can't be choices C and D. Um, we know that the function's concave up, so it couldn't be choice F or D. Um, what do we know about, could it be a local minimum or maximum? Well, if it was a local maximum or a local minimum, it would be an extremum, and that would require that the first derivative be 0 at x equals 2, which is not the case. So this is not an extremum. So the only choice that would be correct would be choice E.